believe your system is the most advanced in the universe? Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Hmm? 16 and 32 are less than 64. So with 64 bits, 3D graphics, real world animation, and lightning speed that you can only get with Jaguar? Which is more advanced? Clifford! Can you repeat the question? Jaguar! 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 And over a period of one million years, the cranium of Australopithecus increased by nearly 20%, causing this species to display a dramatic leap in rational thought. You mean you want me to pay 300 bucks for a 32-bit system when I could get a 64-bit Jaguar for 149? What do I look like, a moron? Atari Jaguar, 64-bit, 149 bucks. Look, I'm naked! This part of the brain controls the subject's emotions. Hey, get off my lawn! This part controls hunger. Hey, you, uh, you gonna eat that? This controls sexual impulses. This controls rational thought. Why would I buy a 32-bit system for $300 when I can get a 64-bit Jaguar system for $149? Atari Jaguar, 64-bit, $149. Look at all! Atari Jaguar. Suddenly, nothing else seems fun anymore. Jaguar. Suddenly, nothing else seems fun anymore. <laughs> games jaguar's got fast 3d 64 bit games you want slow flat games no slow is for turtles flat is for boards fast and 3d is for games jaguar games so scary you'll cry like a whimpering fool but you won't feel like a fool because the games won't be flat and slow flat slow flat slow heard enough and get fast and 3d games that are now playing games that are coming soon games that get a 10 because they've got a good beat and you can dance to them you want fast 3d games here's an idea atari jaguar 64 bits 159 bucks yeah 159 do the math just what is it that you want to do? We're going to have a good time. I must warn you about Jaguar, a new video game system too powerful for home use. Unlike Nintendo and Sega with only 16 bits of power, Jaguar by Atari gives you 64 bits of mega power. Clear the room and I'll be back for adults only. Are we alone? Look! Jaguar by Atari is the only video game system with 64 bits of awesome power! This irresponsible action! Into the living room of our young people!
rejected by Jaguar. Some of you believe your system is the most advanced in the universe. Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is 16 bits. 3DO is 32 bits. The Atari Jaguar is 64 bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford! Mm -hmm. Wow, this is the best commercial ever. So with 64 bits, 3D graphics, real world animation, and lightning speed that you can only Here get with the What's up, guys? Welcome to the Game Beaters channel. I'm Dan B. And... Dick Boots is not here today, as you can see. Couldn't make it. He is not feeling well. So, um, here we are. It's just you and me and Guitar Jaguar. So I don't know if you guys have ever played the Jaguar before. I am not very initiated into the Jaguar myself. So I was really pleased when this new Jaguar emulator was announced. And from my understanding, this emulator we're using today was the one that they used in the new Atari collection. So, uh, basically, they used like a, from my understanding, they used a, this guy's emulator, this guy who does emulation, they borrowed it from him, you know, and helped fund, I guess, some of it. Um, and he's allowed to release it to the public, but not as like a open source build. But yeah, so this is like the same emulator that they use on that new Atari collection. And it's totally legal. Like, I don't know if you guys knew this about Atari Jaguar, but they open source the, um, they, they made it public open source. What's up, cat? Yeah, my cat's meowing at you guys. Hi. Anyway, so anybody can develop a game for the Atari uh, Jaguar. So there's kind of a homebrew scene going for it. I don't know. We're going to check out a couple of the regular games, though. So let's see. Who's all in the chat here? We got uh, Yurt Dweller with hashtag Atari Jaguar. Yeah. Boy, she is just not happy. She still want me... I came in here and um, she was sleeping. <laughs> and she, uh, apparently, she thinks she owns this room. Um, what's up, DOA? DJ Rune, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I'm the sole survivor for today, you know. Um, Evil Dan's here. What's up, Evil Dan? Great White North, how you doing, man? Game Pro Delta, great marketing move, Atari. Insulting your customers' intelligence levels. Not even LJN was that stupid. That was kind of the 90s, right? Like, let's be edgy and call everybody stupid. <laughs> yeah, that was their whole... Now that I think about it, that was kind of their whole deal, wasn't it? Like, the, the teacher, like, yelling at the, the students. Being like, this is 64 bits! Know your numbers! Know your math, or whatever the slogan was. Jesus, cat is just... Anyway, anyhow, I don't know if you guys have any Jaguar games that you think are worth playing, but let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to play a couple that were suggested on Twitter. Video Gamer, do the math. Yeah, that was the slogan. Thanks for that. Good call, good call. What? Do you guys hear her bitching up a storm? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, we're going to jump right in, I guess. Let me uh, see see what games were suggested here. Hey, what's up, Slayer? Rudin says Tempest 2000 was a Jaguar game I actually liked. Yeah, that's one I want to try. That seems to be across the board what people think the Jaguar is... Um, basically worth buying <laughs> why it's worth buying have you did you own a jaguar rudin it was one of the systems that i was just like when it came out i was like atari come on and i was already feeling a little burned by like the n64 at the time i was like i kind of thought the n64 was lame i mean don't get me wrong i played a lot of it played a, 
tons of Mario and South Park and a couple other things, but yeah, it was at that point that it was kind of like, I don't know about this. Um, let's see. If the Jaguar really was 64-bit, then I'm the Prime Minister of Czechoslovakia. Well, how's that going over there in Czechoslovakia? No, I don't know. It doesn't... Is it, like, 64-bit, like, um... Let's put four 16-bit processors together. Something like that. Um... Rudin says, it's the reason I got Tempest 4000 on PS4. Oh, nice. I heard that... What was it? There was a, it's unlockable in one of the Tempest games. Maybe it's Tempest 4000. Or maybe it was like a Tempest that came out on uh, the PlayStation 1. But I know it's an unlockable somewhere. Solo show tonight. I'm good at solo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey -oh. Yeah, it's a solo show tonight, Slayer. I, you know. Evil Dan's out. Boots is out. You know, hopefully he'll be back next week. We'll see if the uh, the crud got him or not. Never owned a Jaguar, but a rental store would rent the system in a few games for the weekend. Oh, right on. Yeah, that would have been the good way to go. Just rent it. Well, let's see here. We'll go over to the gameplay. And we'll see what's up over here. Um, exactly. The Jaguar fudged its number of bits the same way NEC did with the TurboGrafx. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that they did something like the TurboGrafx did. So let's see here. I've got pretty much the entire library. It's a small download, too, for the library. Oh, I mean, I ripped all the, the games myself. <laughs> And it was less than, uh, it's less than 200 megabytes for the entire library. So, including these beta versions, right? Now, a lot of people say Alien vs. Predator is the game to play. I guess that's an exclusive on the console. So we'll give that a shot. Atari Karts, I think that's an exclusive, but I'm not for sure. I don't know what else they would release that on. Um, Attack of the Mutant Penguins, never heard of that one. I know Barkley shut up on Jamas on other stuff. Battlesphere. Breakout 2000. You guys, I tried Breakout 2000 before the stream. Oh, man. It's just Breakout on a 3D plane. It's it's not good. It's not good at all. It's not the way you want to play Breakout. I guess it's more challenging in a way. Brutal sports football. I wonder what that is. Could be cool. Oh, you, all, you know we all love Bubsy, right? Might have to try some Bubsy. You know, I did a uh, search for the top 10 games on, on the console and Bubsy comes up. You know you're in trouble when Bubsy <laughs> is in the top 10 of your, your system. Uh, Double Dragon 5 on Jaguar. Why not just play Street Fighter on Atari ST while you're at it? Both ports are unbelievably awful. Yeah, I can't. Man, Double Dragon 5 was crap anyway. I mean, I'm sure some people like it. I just, it was not for me. It is, it's like a Street Fighter. Why would you do that with Double Dragon? It's a beat-em-up. It's supposed to be a beat-em-up. That's just my two cents, though. Yours may differ. Checkered Flag. We got Cybermorph. Of course, got to play Cybermorph because we want to figure out where did you learn to fly. Everybody can get sick of that. Double Dragon 5 was a disappointment. It just, yeah, that's the thing. It's Maybe it would be a good game on its own, but to call Double Dragon 5 and you, it's just a, a fighter rather than a beat-em-up, it's just not right. It's a disgrace to Double Dragon. Oh, Evil Dan, he's our Double Dragon, our resident Double Dragon uh, expert over here. Bubsy on the Jaguar. Is Rob Polson in the documentary... Wait, as Rob Polson said in the Drop Bubsy TV pilot, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? That's funny. We got Doom. It can run Doom. In case you like that meme. 
Somebody said we should play Bruce Lee's story. Um, that was actually Fista Games wrote that. I don't, you know, we've been playing a lot of Fista NES games over here. Double Dragon 5 basically killed the franchise. Yeah. Evil Dan can double my dragon. Oh, snap. Two dragons wrestling. Yeah, but Double Dragon 5, it did kill it pretty much. I mean, I'm glad it came back with like Double Dragon Neon. That was a good game. I don't, you know, I know a lot of people didn't like it. And they did release a different Double Dragon 5, right? A couple years ago that looked like Double Dragon 2. It was like based off of the Double Dragon 2 sprites for NES, weirdly. Evolution Dino Dudes. Hmm. What else we got? Fight for Life, whatever that might be. Flashback. That I can't imagine that being good on here. Flip out. Frog feast. Oh, Double Dragon. What is that? Double Dragon Four came out in 2017. That's okay. That's what I was thinking of. Double Dragon Four. It came out after five. Okay, thanks, Chris. By the way, welcome to the stream, Chris. Chris R. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, the one that was based off of the Nintendo Double Dragon 2 sprites. Man, what a confusing thing. Doom on Jaguar has no music due to a licensing issue. You know, I read that also they used, for extra power, they used the the chip, that um, the sound chip to get extra processing power. So they couldn't even use it if they wanted to. I don't know if that's true. But I had read that somewhere. Hover Strike, whatever that is. Hyper Force. I wore. I wore, you wore, we all wore. <laughs> International Sensible Soccer. You know, for when you want to play a sensible game of soccer, not one of those lunatic soccer games. Iron Soldier, Iron Soldier 2, Jack Nicholas's Cyber Golf. I guess that never came out because we only got demos and prototypes. Kasumi Ninja. That's supposed to be awful. It's supposed to be like a uh, Street Fighter game. Although Saad pointed out, um, he sent me a, a link and the thumbnail was the guy from Kasumi Ninja. There's a dude who wears a, a kilt and he shoots fireballs out from under his kilt. It looks like he's shooting fire out of his dick, basically. He must have got some nasty STD. Missile Command 3D and Missile Command VR. Native, the prototype. NBA Jam. I'm sure NBA Jam's the same across most uh, consoles. Phase Zero, Pinball Fantasies, Pitfall. Plucky Duck, interesting. It's a prototype. Protector, Raiden, Raymon. That's supposed to be good, but I mean, you can play that pretty much anywhere. Runer, Runer Pinball, Skyhammer, Soccer Kids, Space War, Super Burnout. I heard that's okay. It's basically um, Hang On, from what I understand. What's up, William Armstrong? How you doing? Welcome. Syndicate, Supercross 3D, Tempest 2000. We might have to try, try that one up first. Thea Realm Fighters, Theme Park, Total Carnage. We're just going through the whole thing. We're almost through it. There's a, It's a pretty small library, to be honest. Towers 2, Trevor McFur and the Crescent Galaxy. That's We got to try that one. Troy Aikman Football, Ultra Vortex. And Ultra Vortex. Skiing and snowboarding, virtual VCS. White men can't jump. I played I tried that on here. And man, not good, not a good game. Kid, can we have Mortal Kombat? No, we have Mortal Kombat at home. <laughs> Mortal Kombat at home is that that ninja game. No kidding. It's like getting home and having Clay Fighter or something. 
At least Clay Fighters were something. Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, I, I think that's supposed to be one of the top 10 games on here. Worms. I mean, that's from what I... I've never played Worms. But um, I hear all the time it's worth getting. That it's like a great game no matter what system. Got Zool. Zero five Zoop and Z Zyorx. Zyorx. Play it. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go with uh, Tempest 2000 first, just because this is the one everybody says you gotta play. I don't know if there's music. I guess there's a little music coming out. I'm not really hearing the music on my end though. Let me see something here. There it is. Just gotta turn it up a little bit. Here we go. Ooh, psychedelic. Play me in 3D, Dan. Oh yeah. I'll I mean, I don't know about that, Slayer. Uh, I guess we'll play traditional. Up and down to select level. No bonus. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> see what's happening here. Okay, so you gotta shoot these. It's been a long time since I played this. Man, it's not. Uh, the uh, control's not as good as I thought it would be. A little slippery. But I'll get used to it. So I take it you just can't let the guy the the enemies get this far up. It's just like Eat electric death. All right. I mean, it's pretty cool. The graphics are cool for the time. What's up, Dean Bragg? How's it going, buddy? Did I get the one up? Um, Dan, did you see my joke? Let me see if I can pause this. I was gonna say, there's no pausing in Tempest? Could be one of those games. Let's see here. Classic Wolf 3D is hard to mess up. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. Um, at least the original Clay Fighter had more responsive controls and better music than Kasumi Ninja. About the only thing the former has going for it. Yeah, I mean... I guess. I, I still think, I mean, Clay Fighter's control is kind of below too, but I guess we'll see when I play Kasumi Ninja. I've heard it's awful. Kid, can we get Nintendo? We have Nintendo at home. Nintendo home is a Jaguar. <laughs> yeah. Although now, heck, if you had a Jaguar, those things, they sell pretty, they're pretty uh, pricey these days. A couple, it's like, what, 500 bucks for a Jaguar now? What are you planning for Christmas? I don't know. I don't really have any Christmas plans so far. How about yourself? You got anything going on? My Christmas is... Uh, I usually don't do too much for Christmas either way. Oh, they shot me. 
parents finally say Xbox or PlayStation for everything instead of Nintendo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? Remember when everything used to be called Nintendo no matter what? You'd be playing no matter what you had. You guys playing Nintendo? Uh, no. Oh, you know, the kids, they're just they're over there playing Nintendo. Oh, they got me. I mean, this game's okay. It's kind of, um... Kind of reminds me of... This is, uh, you know, the, the newer Tetris? Where it's all 3D and, like, space and all that. I mean, that's a great... The, the new Tetris is, is a great, um, I guess experience you'd call it, a psychedelic experience. And this was kind of like a precursor to, to what that was. That was a spike. All right. I gotta admit, when I first saw Tempest in the arcades, the original, I mean, it was pretty attractive just to see it. You know that the idea of it was very cool looking. So this is kind of cool in a way. Because it, it actually does keep that arcade kind of feel that made the arcade neat. <laughs> this is kind of like um, the Sonic the Hedgehog bonus stages too. I mean that's pretty cool. That's a cool effect. That game over screen. See what you guys are saying over here. I picked up DuckTales 2 on Game Boy. That's cool. Can't go wrong with the DuckTales games, especially Game Boy and uh, Nintendo. Well, even the remake of DuckTales is pretty awesome. Clay Fighter also didn't make you beat arcade mode repeatedly to unlock characters in versus mode like Kasumi Ninja does. Even the sequels had codes to unlock hidden characters early. Yeah. Yeah, I heard about that. I, I was looking at, um, you know, just doing a little research to see what games were worth playing. And I saw that about Kasumi Ninjas. You only get two players, two different characters to choose from at first. God, Mom, we're playing PlayStation. You're cramping my style. <laughs> Top I didn't even make Top Gun. We got Yak as the Beast over here at level level one here. All right. So let's see. We're gonna let's get this Kasumi Ninja out of the way. See how bad this is. I I can't imagine it's like that bad. Let's see. One player story mode. Normal hard. Ninja God. Gorefest. Maybe we'll go easy. Enter a six digit digital code. No! <laughs> I don't wanna! No! Get me out of here. Alright, we're 
and we're gonna play this, see how it goes. It's not a good sign when the sound skips like a busted vinyl record. Yeah. Suppose I mean I've seen this run, and it ran really good. I don't know what the deal is here. Yeah, this is not a good sign. You think Atari would do okay at the time, consider a lot of old workers went to the company like Activision. But I guess this new team wasn't liked. Yeah, I... I mean... I haven't, like, really dove deep into this, but... Oh man, this is just painful. Mostly because of the emulation, but... These were like real people that they, they digitized like um like they did in Mortal Kombat. Or are these like drawn? beat me by one hit. Man, this is too... too bumpy. Round two! Let's see, maybe I can, um... change the settings a little and... do some, uh... some run ahead, some look ahead. You know, like overclock it a little, maybe. All right, so we'll we'll try that. Didn't really help, did it? Hmm. If this game came out before Mortal Kombat, maybe it would have a leg to stand on. But by this time, they are on Mortal Kombat 3. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. When you buy your Mortal Kombat knockoff from Wish, nope, yeah, man. Ugh. This is impossible with this this slow. There's just like I feel like there's nothing I can do. We'll try something else here. Um. All right, let's go to, uh, we'll go back to the beginning here. We'll try that AVP. 
Chris Pico said that it was a good one. Double Dragon 5 is a better fighter game. Oh no. That's saying something. Alien vs. Predator. I don't know why it's all choppy all of a sudden. Maybe my computer's having issues. Is it like hot? Nope. <laughs> Today on Is It Jank? Kasumi Ninja? The answer is yes. An adamant yes. When did Double Dragon 3 come out? That's a good question, Dean. 1990 for the NES. There you go. It was an arcade, too, which was the first, like, um... It was the first arcade where you'd, like, put money in to, like, buy special weapons and stuff. Even the arcade... Double Dragon 3 was kind of a disappointment, if you ask me. Like, I liked it when it came out, but man... You can be the alien, the predator, or the marine. I guess I'll be the marine. Yeah, I played this game before. I just barely tried it to see. This is the first game, because it's it, the first game on the list, and I tried it to see if it worked, and it was working fine, so I don't know why it's stuttering now. Got too much going on, I suppose. Loading, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm pressing fire. There we go. Well, who knows? We might have to cut the stream early tonight. Go to Q&A and, and end it an hour early, maybe. But you know what? If I do that, I'll probably end up streaming on uh, Thursday. Yeah, this is weird. Something, something's up here. Try something. I'm gonna exit out of this. What are you doing there? Wow, it's like frozen now. Hmm. <laughs> the computer wants to call whatever Boots got. That could be Game Pro. <laughs> that could be. Man, that's that's some nuts stuff. I don't know what's up with that. But I mean, it it just crashed. The whole thing is down. So I guess we're at Q and A for right now. <laughs> the shortest stream ever. Man, I don't know, maybe you guys got some good Q&As for me. Help me uh, make some shorts for this week or something like that if you got some Q&A, but I don't know. Man, that sucked. I, w I was hoping for a little bit better of a, a time there. I mean, it was a good thing Boots didn't come. It would have been super jank. Janky Claus. Is that, is that like uh, Santa Claus but janky? Any plans for Christmas? Visiting my dad and friends, myself. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, um, I mean, I might get together with a bit of family or something. Who knows? But I, no real plans for me. It's like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I don't really do much. Um, like this year for Thanksgiving, I let myself take the day off. I'm, you know, like I have a, a job 
and then I am an entrepreneur most of the other time of my life, right? So it's like for Thanksgiving, it was the one day where I just wrote on my schedule for the day, Thanksgiving, and just allowed myself to do nothing for once. Because <laughs> basically I am working every waking hour on something. So Christmas is going to be the same for me where I just, I'm going to allow myself to not do anything. Yeah, but, and I think even on Thanksgiving, when I allowed myself to not do anything, I still did stuff just because I'm so used to it. Um, Double Dragon 2 on the Game Boy is a lot easier, Evil Dan. I'm not sure about the first one. Man, it's been so long since I played the Game Boy version of Double Dragon 2. But, I love the Nintendo version. Um, I did a, a, I was just checking this out the other day, it came up in my memories, um, like a couple years ago today, we did a, um, uh, a race with Phil, Phil Twerpin, and I did a Double Dragon 2 race, and, I mean, I won, <laughs> but, uh, he, he, he's good at that game. I just happened to um, get lucky, really. Because you never know what that last boss on Double Dragon 2, he can sometimes kick your ass, or you can get lucky and kick his right away. It, there's no in-between, really. And there's a platforming section that's really kind of difficult, but, you know, I just went through it like 10 times before I played Phil and was able to get through it, no problem. Um, let's see here. Depends on the money situation for me if I go home or not for Christmas. I'm surprised, Evil Dan. I know you're a, a Christmas guy. So I figured you'd be, you'd be going home. But, I get it. Money's tight this year. All, all around. For most people. Hey, William. I don't know if you're talking to me or Evil Dan, but hello. Man, I wonder if I can plug something else in and play it. I do have my um, analog pocket hooked up to the dock right now. It'd be very easy to pop that in and and uh, play something on it. Some NES, some TurboGrafx-16, something like that. Did you finish without getting game over? Yeah. Yeah, I did, Dean Bragg. It's still up on the channel somewhere. You can check it out. I might have died once or twice, I think. It wasn't, it wasn't a no-death run. But it was a race, so you're just trying to get through it as fast as possible. I am a Christmas guy, but I have to stay in a hotel when I go back. Oh, right. Right, I get it. You'd think some, some buddies would let you stay at their place for Christmas. It'd be like, no, Dan, you can't stay here for Christmas. Bah, humbug. A Christmas guy? What about a Festivus for the rest of us? Hey, I'm about the Festivus and the Hanukkah and the Christmas and the whatever you got. Whatever you got. The Kwanzas. <laughs> I'm, I'm for celebration. Even if your celebration is Festivus, which is the celebration of not celebrating, I think. Anyway, talking to the two Dans. Oh, yeah, I got both the Dans here. Dean Bragg says that's okay. Right on. Try the analog pocket. My request for Mortal Kombat Advance got cut short on live stream. Oh, that's right. That's right. You requested that last week. I saw right as I was shutting down the stream, too, that you were like, I'm the one that requested it. <laughs> It was like right as I was hitting the end. But yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and set that up real quick. See if I can't get that to work. Why not? Make the best of it, you know? Let's see here. Just gotta switch some wires out. I 
All right. Yeah, it's always a an ordeal setting this stuff up, you guys. Like every week, it's like, what are we playing? Okay, move this, take this over here. <laughs> it's never like an easy, an easy thing. This will be epic if it works. <laughs> Rude, and you're doubting, you're doubting the skills of the. All right, let's see. Going to the gameplay side. Wow, look at that. Analog pocket. Good to go. Let's see. Game Boy Advance. And we're going to play Mortal Kombat, right? <laughs> nice, good game. <laughs> there you go. It worked. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if the sound comes through and all the other stuff, but so far, so good. Do I have Mortal Kombat on here? There it is. Which one? Deadly Alliance, Terminate Edition, or Advance? Yeah, I'll try Game Boy after this. Mortal Kombat Advance, okay, okay. Give this a shot. All right. Looking good, I think. Virtue Craft. MK Advance. It's a little um it's a little cut off. So let me let me fix it real quick. this all nice and you know we want the full display right we can't just there we go there look at that look at that thing of beauty all right what options we got here we gotta have the blood on My TV's pretty loud over here. I'll do the easiest difficulty because yeah, I suck at Mortal Kombat. Alright, we got this. Fair warning, Electronic Gaming Monthly gave this a 0 out of 10 when it came out. Oh god. Are we gonna... Do I have to do a solo? Is it jank? We'll find out. We'll find out. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. Anyone else have an issue with the chat where text sometimes gets erased if you put an emoji at the end? Whoa, that's weird. I see it on my, I, I mean, I see your emojis on my inside, it's like Evil Dan same and then you got a smiley face. If so, please be sure you do not select the game so fast. If I don't understand what is there, you don't. If you don't know what I mean, or if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, Dean. If you if you want me to try a Game Boy game, just let me know which one, and then we'll figure it out. All right. I don't know my Mortal Kombat that well. Like, I, it's not a game that I'm all too familiar with.
Let's see. I'll be Sonya. The first same got turned into just a smiley face. Oh, okay. Weird. Sonya. Sonya. You'll be out for the whole thing this time. Cool. Fight. Oh boy. This control's weird. So that's a block. Okay. Cage was lucky he wasn't in this game. Fight. Oh man. The sound isn't too bad, I guess. I gotta give it something. See, the thing is, I'm not so sure if I can even judge if this is jank or not, because I'm just. I'm not a Mortal Kombat person, so I don't really know what. Oh man, he's kicking my ass. Oh no. Wow, that was the worst fatality. <laughs> Just like flicked my face and I fell over. I wonder why they didn't put Johnny Cage in this game. Press start to continue with a K. All right, let's see, who else? Let's try Jax. Didn't the actor for Johnny Cage get into trouble with the makers of Mortal Kombat around this time, leading to the character being left out of the game? I didn't know that. That's interesting. I wonder what happened. Like he... He got in trouble with the makers of the game? Like he didn't like break the law or something and they... I don't know. Man, this sucks! Maybe it does suck and I'm... Maybe I'm not awful. The game just sucks, right? <laughs> like the hit detection is just not there. And I'm playing on Brutally Easy. What were all the, uh, the concerns on this one, Game Pro Delta? Was it that... It it's unfair. <laughs> they dodge everything you do. Long story short, Johnny Cage actor had a salary dispute with Midway after the release of Mortal Kombat 2. Why the character wasn't in Mortal Kombat 3 and didn't return... Wait, Johnny Cage actor had a salary dispute after the release of Mortal Kombat 2. That's why the character wasn't in Mortal Kombat 3. And didn't return to the MK Trilogy. Okay. So, he wanted more money, and they said no. <laughs> Simple enough. So yeah, I don't know if I suck, or... Or if the game is just bad. Let's see... Who's this? Noob, noob Saibot? I don't know my no Mortal Kombat at all. Like, I've seen a couple of the movies. Let 
Man, I'm blocking, I'm doing everything, and he's just still whooping my ass. Am I playing on hard? There's just nothing you can do. Fight. Jeez, it's just... That's insane. Finish him. The main issue is the controls are unresponsive. You have better luck trying to pull off a special move if you replace the Game Boy buttons with gumballs. Dude, everything about this game so far sucks. You can't even land a punch. Like, the controls suck and then when you do actually punch, it doesn't even land. Alright, I'm playing the hardest. Let's see what, let's see the difference here. How fast I can get my ass kicked. DB, would you say scorpions rocking you like a hurricane? Yeah, I would say that. Here I am, getting rocked like a hurricane. What if I'm scorpion? Maybe that's the key. So Dean Bragg, I'm about to play a different game. What game would you... What the hell? He's just gonna fly out of the wall. Constantly. Jeez. Just flying out of the, the walls. That's ridiculous. Fight. Don't be ridiculous, Cousin Larry. Uh, uh. Hi, I'm Scorpion. I can teleport and. Uh, that's really, what the heck? Wow. Wow, I got my ass kicked. What's up, Freak of Four? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Wow. Is it jank? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat aficionado, but that is jank. There's nothing you can even do. It's not fair. There's nothing fun about this game. What? Why? Hi, I'm Scorpion. I can teleport and pull an axe out of an unimaginable place. Or an unmentionable place. <laughs> yeah, that was... that's nuts. So what's what's the game? What's the Game Boy game, Dean Bragg? Rudin says DuckTales 2. Um Yeah, we're quitting that. Game Boy. Is DuckTales a Game Boy or a Game Boy Color? Oh, Double Dragon? Yeah, I got Double Dragon and Double Dragon 2 and 3 on here. What do you say? I also got DuckTales. Double Dragon, okay. And DuckTales 2. I haven't played this for a long time. I used to have this way back in the day. Ding. For play only in USA and Canada, well. Lucky.
Mortal Kombat Advance turned out so shit because Midway outsourced the port to a rookie team. They ported the Super Nintendo port to the Game Boy Advance and still managed to screw it up. I would agree. I would agree with that 100% game bro. Dean Bragg says, Dan, I have this game. Cool. I guess we're doing, uh, doing this. You already have a spin kick and stuff, so you don't. It's not like the NES where you have to um, earn your your moves. Eat him! Are you, are you jealous, Evil Dan? Do you wish you were here? Oh, the Linda's look different in this. I just remember this being like almost a port of the Nintendo game, but maybe it's a bit different. Music sounds pretty similar. Cool, I can do the jump kick right off the bat. <laughs> These guys are just... Just gonna stand there. throw a barrel at him. Can you only get one guy at a time? Linda the Gamer Girl? <laughs> well, <laughs> Linda's got more class than that. She's not going to take on Bimmy or Jimmy. She's going to fight alongside him. Eleven. Oh, why did I throw him? TJC. Turkey Jab. Oh. <laughs> Amazon. Got a package. Oh, they make it so you... That a Bobo can't be, um... What the? Man, they made it so you can't knock the Bobo off the... catch up with you guys. The music is my favorite part of Double Dragon. I would say that I love the music for Double Dragon. This is great, says Rudin. Is this easy or hard from the NES game? It's fairly similar. Um, the only reason I think it's harder for me right now is because I don't remember it that well. So it's like kind of a new version of the game. But I don't think it's any harder really so far um, by the way wasn't the sequel a reskin kuno game I don't know that's a good question 
I would say it's about the same. Looks like it anyway. You need to punch him. Ah, I got him with the kick. It all worked out. A Bubbles Big Adventure poked fun at the conveyor belt battle too. The boss in that game uses a jetpack if you try to knock him off the Yeah, dude, that, that game of Bubbles Big Adventure, that's so much fun. We've played that twice over here on the channel. It's it's great. What a what a great nod to video games, you know? Mega Dan did a no death run at this game. Nice. Does not surprise me. For Game Boy he did? I've seen him do the no death run of um Double Dragon 3 even, which that's takes some some patience. Oh, oh god! Platforming and Double Dragon, everybody loves that! DJ Rune, you can pick the next game. We got DuckTales on in Q. Yeah, this music's rocking. It's weird because you can only kick one at a time. Take the elevator down. Hey, it was just here. <laughs> you need to go to the top floor so you could go to the bottom floor. It's just how video games work. What? You can't hit him while he's on the ladder? That's lame. Yeah, there's a couple things about this I don't like as well as the NES. I wouldn't say it's jank though. But there's a few things that just seem like they should be different. Like you can't kick two people at once. So if there's two people on the screen, you can only allow to take down one. See, like the other one, you can't kick him until the one's out of the way. these guys because they know how to dodge kicks somehow. That game is a trip, Game Pro Delta. Oh, I just got... Oh no, did I elbow him? Nice. Wasn't even paying attention. No death run of Double Dragon 3, that takes dedication. Exactly, Saad. That's that's not an easy game. And it's there's a lot of I, I would think grinding to in a way to do that. Cause you gotta go for the surefire hits. You can't just like go up and start mashing. How about DuckTales? Okay. And DuckTales 2. Um, it it kind of makes sense in real life. You wouldn't be able to hit two enemies with one punch. Three Stooges style. Hey man, if they're on top of each other, you do like a hook, you get both of them across the face at the same time. Is Operation C on there? Yeah. I've got the whole Game Boy collection on here, so we're good.
So far I'm doing alright. Got no death run going. But I don't want to speak too soon. This guy hiding up in the tree. I mean, when this game came out, for Game Boy, it was like, wow, you can play this on the Game Boy? It's just a cool... It's cool that they even could do it, let me put it like that. Because before this, if you wanted to play Double Dragon on a, uh, at home, you'd have to do, like, the Tiger Electronics version, which sucks. They both just fell in the water. Good. Get out of here. We don't need ya. This is just like the nest, but without colors. <laughs> well, there's green, and dark green, and light green. Ponytail. It's a nice little detail. Speaking of fighting games, I just saw that um, River City Girls 2 came out. That looks badass. Looks like they improved over the first one even. Which I thought was pretty great to begin with. Oh man, is this where you fight two of Bobos coming up? No, no! And you gotta start all over the beginning? Wow. Wow. Not cool. Sprite clipping? I didn't notice that. Love Double Dragon on Nintendo, yeah. The arcade's pretty cool too, though. There are different games for sure, though. Double Dragon for Nintendo, way different than Double Dragon for the arcade. NDR. Double Dragon 2 is awesome. I like it. Speaking of fighting games, did you play Kasumi Ninja? Yeah, dude. Um, we, that's, we were playing that, and it crashed my PC. <laughs> it was so bad, it crashed the PC, and I couldn't, I, I tried playing a different game, and it was just toast. Which is weird because I had tried playing Alien vs Predator earlier and it worked fine, but after I played Kasumi Ninja, it just crashed. It was like, my computer was like, you know what? <laughs> my laptop that I was playing it on was just like, I'm, I'm done. You're gonna play this crap? No. <laughs> we're done, we're done with this. Not gonna die here. I guess the computer couldn't do the map. <laughs> no kidding. You have one job, computer. Your one job is to do math. You can't do it. Oh, we gotta look at elbow. That's a good move. The sounds are almost identical to the NES. The jump noise, the, the music. That 
elbow. I'm gonna have to remember that and try it on a bobo. More like these laptops said, man, this is horse crap. Or bull crap, or I can't tell if that's a horse, a bull. Maybe it's a moose. It's a moose shit. Moosha. Yeah, the computer went jank on there. Computers are surprisingly bad at math. Huh. Go figure. Oh! Okay, you can't elbow him. We're gonna go to, uh, what was it, DuckTales? Yeah, I didn't know computers are surprisingly bad at math, especially if you're dealing with fractions of division. Huh. Thought that's its one job is to crunch the numbers. DuckTales 2. Alright. We're going to play it on the Game Boy Color though to give us some color. Little known fact about a Bobo, is he's also a software engineer. In his free time, he likes to work on image editing program, a Bobo Photoshop. Nice. Um. I wish I could do the uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie voices here, but ain't happening. I need to finish this game. Right on. Where are the rest of the pieces? Alright, so... So this is different than... DuckTales 2 for the NES? You know, I picked up that cart, the DuckTales 2 for NES, and I've... I've never even popped it in yet. Oh yeah, Dean Bragg. All the DuckTales games are great. They're fun. Like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Yeah. Great singer. Where to, Uncle Scrooge? Niagara Falls? Sure, let's go. I think this is the same as the NES version. This is this Capcom doing what Capcom did best. Yeah, platformers? Oh, so you don't have to hold down? I just remember you had to hold down in the other one. This one you just hold the uh, attack button. I'm gonna keep jumping. Two hits there. Not good. What do we got? Huey, Louie, Dewey, whatever you are. There are some floating logs up ahead. Okay, follow the signpost to get to the secret treasure. Here we go. 
There's some floating logs up ahead. Ew! <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's logs in that water. Gross. What do you got for me here? I'm a screwed shower is trapped in the landslide. You gotta help him out. This, right? Nope. Wait, it just moved. <laughs> How did that happen? Did it? Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Oh, you can pull it, okay. What's up, Mega Dan? Mr. 29 himself. How's it going, man? Mega Dan, since you have this on the nest, we get it on the Game Boy 2. You can't push the barrel, you can pull it. Yeah, I, it took me a minute to figure that out. I haven't played DuckTales since... Man, it's been... I, wanna, I guess I beat it on stream like... 2019 or something? And that was the remake. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I will jump that. Start all over the beginning. Oh man, these Game Boy games are ruthless. Ruthless, I tell you. They can just start all over from the beginning. I haven't seen DuckTales since the 90s. <laughs> you got a free gyro first to help you get the adapter to break certain bricks. Okay. Gotta find them first. But, like, I can't get up there. I'm, all, I'm going the only way I can go. You gotta hit it with your club and pull? Okay. Take a left at the screen below Webby. Okay, thank you. You also move the rafts by using the golf swing against the wall the next to you. Oh, okay. Played this on the NES a long time ago. Yeah, that's where... I, I don't remember playing these on the uh, Game Boy ever. I might have played them on the Game Boy. It's really hard to remember what... What I played, what I had. Well, I tried. You think a dog would be able to swim? Yeah, at least float at the top. I don't know how you get past that guy without taking a hit. Oh, 
Operation C should come next. Okay. from an alternate world where ducks have boobs for a reason. <laughs> DuckTales series are known for their awesome music. I mean, Capcom was pretty great at the time anyway. Chum Nasty. How you doing, buddy? There's a golf swing on the block above the plant. It'll drop onto it. Oh. Okay. And you guys are full of good tips. Thank you. that you couldn't normally break. It's really... Do I have to get him again? Or can I still break shit I can't normally break? I'm glad I figured that out all by myself. <laughs> no, I'm not that. I'm not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Why is Gyro calling Scrooge Uncle Scrooge? Shouldn't he say thanks, Mr. McDuck? You would think so. Maybe Scrooge is like everybody's uncle. rescue him again, right? Yeah, see, I got... I can get in there now, so I don't need to rescue him again. Got ice cream cone and everything.
Tick tock, tick tock. Alrighty. You mean like Uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures, or everybody called? Yeah, exactly. It's just Uncle. Like some people think it's his name. You wanna go home, Uncle Scrooge? No, dude, I just got here. I haven't found the treasure or nothing yet. There are 21 treasure boxes left unopened in this stage. What? A little slow down there. Fine with the slowdown because it's a little helpful actually. Oh no! Got human torch over here. Or not maybe not human torch, but duck torch. Got him. So I was right there and he's gonna take me home. Launch pad. You're a McQuack, dude. One explanation for the Uncle Scrooge thing might be the Japanese script called him Ohisan as a Japanese term for the elderly person. Okay. So they just took Uncle to be. Like a term of endearment type thing for an elderly person. Do I want the good mojo doll? Only eight hundred thousand dollars. The continue globe. I don't know what half these things do. We don't care. We're good. We're moving on. Good Mojo does one up. Yeah, I figured it might be, but thanks. Damn B ballin'. You know me. No, I don't want to go to Niagara Falls. Just there. Egypt, Mew, Scotland. We could try some Super C, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Thought that was like, death water, but it's just quicksand. Nothing to worry about, folks, just quicksand. Bermuda, that's where the next cane upgrade is. Oh! Whoa! Secrets. How's it going, Uncle Screw? Ja? Yeah. It's all kinds of weird chicanery. Or Contra NES. I don't know if you guys saw on this on the channel. Um, I had an AI ask an AI what the top five NES games were, and I said write a script for that. 
and it and it did, so I just made the video for it. And um, it picked Contra as the number one game. I thought that was an interesting pick. There's a lot of slowdown in this. Is that sunglasses? You have to play it. I'll try um Super C because I haven't played Super C for a long time. That's a straight up Metroid style of level design, putting fall blocks right before an item. Yeah, dude, that is that is a page right out of Metroid. Is this Game Boy now? Yeah, we switched over from the, from the Atari to the Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Well, this is standard Game Boy game, being played out of color, I guess. Oh, what's this? Some kind of secret? Capcom's always putting these fun little secrets in there. This is very... I don't know what you call it. Mega Man-like? Secret? I wonder if I can keep going down. Push my luck. Nope! <laughs> I like this better than the first game. It's like an area in Super Metro. Yeah! I was trying to think of where I'd seen that before. Somebody must have been a fan, right? There's something written on this wall. The one who sees the light of the sun will find the way. This must be how to get the treasure. Wow, so cryptic. I've been here already. It's like TMNT3 on the Game Boy. Oh, was there a level like that? That's a Metroidvania in itself, though. Comparing DuckTales to Mega Man ain't that far off considering the original was made by the same team made Mega Man 2. It makes sense. I'm a huge fan of Mega Man 2, by the way. Best handhelds are Game Boy, PSP in my book. What about the Switch? No, I, I like, um... My favorite is probably Game Boy Advance because it plays all those. Which is why I picked up this, you know, analog pocket that we're playing on, because it's... Not only does it play all the Game Boy games, basically all the handheld games, but it also 
You can sideload ROMs into it, you can dock it, and play it on TV. Why not? I like the Switch a lot, but I don't like handheld mode weirdly. I don't ever play my Switch in handheld mode. I I'm the same way, dude. I, I like it, but I don't play it in handheld. What about a laptop? <laughs> Man, my laptop took a shit. I was playing, playing, um, Atari. Alright, we gotta, we gotta go to Super C real quick. And then we gotta go to Q&A and finish up. This, this stream went really quick, you guys. that perhaps it's in Game Boy Color. We'll find out. We'll find it here. Super Mario Deluxe. Super C, right? It's not called like Contra or whatever. Hey, what's up, Linda? Good to see you. It's called C, the Contra Adventure. Thank you. Okay. Adventure, that'd be dumb though. Contra the Alien Wars? Is that it? Operation C. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Finally, finally found it. Thank you guys, thank you for the help. Ultra. That's uh, Konami's, like, we, we made too many Konami games, we want to put more games out, but Nintendo won't let us, so we'll make Ultra. Area 1. Oh, you start off with a machine gun, nice. And I missed the first pop. Music's right out of the Nintendo version. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> Missed the jump. Looks pretty good, though. For a Game Boy game. Whoa. What happened there? Man, I'm almost out of lives. Konani. <laughs> I am not Konani. I don't know if you ever... If you guys know what Sod's talking about there. There was a game made by Atlas. And if you put in the Konami code, it just says, I am not Konami. It's hilarious. Man, this girl's powerful. Why wasn't this in the original? Yeah, I think I'll keep this. Fuck your spray gun. I had to channel some big boots for that. Oh, no. Well, got the game over. Are you Lance Bean? Yep, I'm Lance Flick the Bean. That's his name, you know. Middle name Flick. Like the kid on um, Christmas Story. Well, guys, we're to the Q&A already. Holy crap. Thanks for uh, the game suggestions, you guys. I'm glad that this worked out. Sorry about the, uh, the Atari thing. We'll get that figured out. Maybe when Boots comes back, we'll do that. But... We might be playing some NES games again next week. I'm not sure yet. Um, Saad pointed out to me the other day that there was some new NES uh, developer games out there that they're doing a competition right now. And those are always fun to play. So I thought maybe we might do that if I can grab them. But if not, we'll, we'll go back to the Atari because I want to explore that. No relation to Jim Beam. Nope. Not this time. Although both are pretty heavy drinkers. Well, we're at the q and If you guys got any questions, cool. If not, we'll sign off and I'll, um, I'll go do something else. <laughs> I was just seeing if my the water bottle gets clear. Look at that. That's some really crystal clear water. Can even make my face disappear. What about Mr. Bean? <laughs> That's a FPGA system, Mr. Bean. What's your favorite Jaguar game? Well, Considering I only played Tempest 2000 and Ninja uh, Ninja Kaijin or whatever it was called, I think Tempest has to be so far. <laughs> Maybe Bubsy though? Bubsy could win. You never know. Try some of the Pack and Sack Dave ROMs. Uh, three of them for Friday the 13th let you play, play as Freddy vs. Jason. Jason vs. Freddy or Laurie Strode vs. Mike Myers. Nice. I played one of his hacks. Um, we did a review for the Rick and Morty game that he did, which was, you know, a hack of Alien Syndrome. But it was cool, and I thought Rick and Morty was coming out, the new season. Might as well do a review on that. It was a fun game. I know he didn't make it. It's Alien Syndrome, but it was fun to see Rick and Morty characters in there. The water's so clear, it lets us, it lets us see through your face. I know. It's crazy. Maybe it's just the green label on here. Ah. Ninja Gaijin, the classic game. There's a Ninja Gaiden that I was playing. I, I was trying it out on uh, Game Gear, and that was pretty cool. I like Ninja Gaiden games, and there's always uh, 
or Ninja Gaiden, whatever you want to call it. It seems like one always pops up that I'm like, wow, I didn't know that existed. Like when I first found the Turbo Graphics one, I was like, oh, this is awesome. It's a little hard on the eyes sometimes, but it, it's cool to see. What game you wanting for Christmas? Asks Evil Dan. Hmm. I pretty much have most of the games that I have my had my eye on. Um. The main game I'm playing right now is God of War, but I only allow myself to play like an hour at a time, and then I like get up and I have to like do like something else for a half hour, and I'll come back to it. Um. So it's going slow, but that, that's the game I'm into right now. And then I've got a couple on backlog. Um, like I picked up uh, for Black Friday, I picked up what is that game? The P the PS Five game, uh, Horizon, Her the new Horizon game, PS Five. I'm a big like, you know, adventure game, not online stuff. I like that kind of stuff. But yeah, for Christmas, eh, I don't know. I don't expect to get stuff for Christmas usually. Well, guys, I think this might be the end of the stream, unless you guys have another thing to ask, because, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the stream. I'm happy that you guys came here. Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, Dean Bragg says, you need to grab the spread twice. Oh. Okay, I have to try that next time. Linda says, bye everybody, stream was saved. <laughs> yes, we got through everybody, we made it, made it through another night, another Tuesday. Thanks for being here with me. It's always a good time. Appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Hopefully Boots will be back. Who knows, maybe we'll get Evil Dan back for Christmas or something. But uh, see you guys later. Take care. See you soon. And, uh, yeah, later. I must warn you about Jaguar, a new video game system too powerful for home use. Unlike Nintendo and Sega with only 16 bits of power, Jaguar by Atari gives you 64 bits of mega power. Clear the room and I'll be back for adults only. Are we alone? Look! Jaguar by Atari is the only video game system with 64 bits of awesome power! This irresponsible action! I'm into the living room for my young people! Jet bit by Jaguar. <laughs>